help me out a little bit here. I, I don't understand the voodoo economics too well. Simplify this and just tell me, are you going to put back for every gallon of water that you take away from Green Valley, are you going to put back that gallon of water in the same place at the same quality? I always said when you use cap water, we're going to put a recharge center, and the recharge centers are not exactly the same place. Cap water has a different quality, but it's, it's what the city of Tucson does right now for straight water. It pumps the cap water into the ground. So we're going to give you our water, and you're going to give it to Tucson. Is that what's happening? Like I said, right now we we have to pump before we have excess capacity. We can move it around. We can't trade it. <laughs> And if we can get a deal done with the community water company, that'll help put it down closer to Green Valley. So you're not answering my question. <laughs> you're not going to give us back our water. And what about the quality? Like I said, I mean, the quality cap water is good. <laughs> so you're going to take our clean water and give us back dirty water. I'd be happy to, if we can get, if we can get the way to use cap water, we'll use cap water. Dirty water. I would be happy to use cap water to find our process. We can get an alloc a strict allocation to find uses. Okay. Next question. I just want to make a clarification here on that uh, usage of water. Uh, 6,000 acre feet of water is approximately 5,000 gallons of water per minute, per minute 24 7 for 20 years. Now, I'm not sure, but I don't see the benefit here. We're presently in a 12-year drought in Southern Arizona. We've got about two inches of excess water since January 1. We're having a lucky. But for the most part, we're in a drought. We may continue to be in a drought. I don't see the benefit of this mine. 4,000 acres of national forest land used as an unlined tailing stuff. I'm being told that we couldn't afford to line this tailing. There's too much of it. The other point I want to make for all these good people here is this is it. It is over a mile wide. Now think about it. 6,500 feet wide, 3,000 feet deep. Now don't tell you 2,400, 2,500. They've got two other planes on this mine plan for copper top and Broadview. Is that correct? Is that the names of the other places you've got copper? Is it copper top and Broadview? Those are part of their planes you do have. That's part of the plane. I was on line and your former president, congratulations for being a new CEO. Gil, Gil, uh, Clausen. Clausen, thank you. And I looked at him on line over in England speaking to his investors and he said something to the nature that this might not be accurate and you can go ahead and correct me. But within four to five years or seven years of operating this mine, they will have paid off most of the infrastructure. They will be paying labor wages, everything will pretty much be paid off as far as infrastructure, and we're going to be looking at going right over the top of that mountain. Because Broadview's up there, Copper Top's up there, and they're going to split this beautiful mountain range they can have. Excuse me, two-thirds to the south, one-third to the north. They've got other claims that are down in South Patagonia. What's your question? They are beautiful around the old mountain. I'm just saying that I'm going to question. I don't have a question. I said, when I started, when I started, I said I wanted to clarify. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, you know, this is a comment, I guess, real quick before I go on. I appreciate your comments. I, and I know water is a huge issue. I, I'm, not, I'm very aware of that. And I, I do appreciate that. And that's why we've been trying to look at ways we can be net neutral water. We're working hard on that. And we need to work with other people too. We need the pecan growers to work with us and things like that too. Because there's things we can both do together to help minimize water. There's, there's a lot of things we can do. Water is a huge tradition. I, I agree 100% with that comment. We want, we want to minimize the use of water, find ways to replace the water. And I think Arizona as a, a whole state is going to have to look at that real hard. I mean, as it goes forward. Uh, as far as the acre, we're, we mentioned we're putting 4,400 acres of, of uh, what do you call dry stack tailings unlined on the Forest Service land. 
We don't have 4,400 acres. Our whole impact area is 4,400 acres. Of that, 50,000 acres. So you're looking at where the tails themselves are less than 2,000 acres. And as far as lining on it, what the studies are showing is, again, you're in a basin of inert material. You're in a limestone, putting out a limestone material. You've taken the water out of it, and it doesn't show any water seepage through the studies show. So it doesn't require lining. It's basically classified as a landfill. Okay. 